Shalom, brothers, sisters, once again, it's the voice of your brother, Taza Dark, coming at you as usual through the spirit of righteousness and truth, giving you right knowledge through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. And as usual, for the record, this is not legal advice. I do not offer legal advice. If you need legal advice, seek yourself a competent counsel, and then please be advised. What I'm about to give you is for educational, informational, or perhaps even entertainment purposes only for those of you that consider this to be entertainment. And before I start this, I would like to say as usual, you know, if you find the information in this video of value, and I trust that you will, um, any of the information in any of my videos of value, um, please give the video a thumbs up. That helps me out. And if you find the information of value, then click the PayPal link below the video and donate whatever value you find it to be worth. Be it $100, $200, $50, $20, $10, $5, or even a dollar. It's greatly appreciated. You give to the universe, it gives back to you. That's the law of attraction. So, you know, I want to say this before I, um, I'm going to conclude this. I've been doing a um, series of UCC videos. I'm going to conclude it um, with this particular video, but I want to say this. Avoid negative people. Avoid people that's toxic. Avoid negative thinking. Avoid negative people and say goodbye to crazy. People that feel intense anger because you set boundaries are simply crazy. Having boundaries are actually healthy and normal. It does not make you mean. It does not make you um, a barbarian or something. If you have fake friends, fake lovers, a fake spouse that take you for granted, it is in your best interest to walk away from toxic relationships, be they friends, relatives, um, they will bring you down with all of the negativity. The type of people that you affiliate, will, you, you will actually attract that type of energy with the type of people that you have within your circumference. So avoid toxic relationships. So, um, you know, um, walk away from toxic relationships and be around someone that actually deserves your presence. The strongest negotiating position is to be able to walk away and really mean it. So, get the hell away from toxic people because they will hinder your growth. You know, I've actually essentially given up on wishful thinking that certain people would actually miraculously have a metamorphosis and become a reasonable, loving human being. Folks, this is just not going to happen with some people. They're stuck in their ways. And sometimes, the only way that they will realize that, if you just leave them alone for good. So I'm telling you, if you have a friend, if you have a family member, if you have a spouse that is bringing you down, that's toxic, that's full of negativity, that's tearing you down, get that from amongst you. Avoid toxic people Make your life a drama-free zone. You know, I don't care if it's a so-called brother, a wife, a mother, or whatever. If they do not give you a healthy relationship, say goodbye to crazy. Um, you know, and I would like to say to all of you, um, all of my subscribers, um, all of you that's new tuning in, all of my family and loved ones that's actually shown true love, I greatly appreciate your love. I greatly appreciate your donations. I thank you so much. I've been around this entire world, and I can really see what true love is and what it's not. A lot of people with, that was within my circumference was not given true love. So I had to, like, just disaffiliate myself with those particular toxic people. You know, I get real love from the real people for who I am. But the haters and the fake people, they just bring drama. So I'm telling you folks, to avoid toxic relationships. And they know who they are. Many of you know who you are right now. Yes, I'm talking to you. So, um, but it's, the, it's a cold and envy world. Haters and fake people, they just want. They just want to take and they just bring turmoil and depression. But I've been looking... To see the truth as it really is and as it unfolds. And I thank the Most High for all the blessings that He's given me. 
And I had to get rid of a lot of fake Akim and certain other people that was giving me fake love. So do not compromise your principles. Just walk away from it all, brothers and sisters. The strongest negotiating position is to be able to walk away and really mean it. And unless they change, do not affiliate with them ever again. Now with that being said, um, when is well advised to obtain and to understand as much about an issue as can be found? So, me, the author of this video, Taza Doc, just an agreed man, does not claim to have all of the information, nor do I desire to set up any myself as an authority guru. I never claim such a title. So, as a self-directed scholar with a wide range of entrants, hey, I'm just a man that studies and research and trying to teach as many of the people as I possibly can. So, I look upon the world and attempt to digest what it actually seen through my experiences um, and then I pass those experiences on to you. So, I have come to identify and know several basic concepts of, you know, human performance. So, one, it is much easier to withhold something initially than to make an attempt to take it away once it's given. Two, it is much easier to seek forgiveness than permission. It is very easy to fall into that's the way it is and always have been done. Trap. Don't fall into that trap, people. And finally, you do this way because I say so. No, folks. Don't fall into those traps. Now, I'm sure you listeners can offer several more. But the point that I'm being, that I'm actually trying to establish or make in here in the course of human affairs, you know, things happen. Things occur. So by maintaining a conscious and awakeness and awareness about what is happening, one can better be form in their decisions as to whether to participate or whether not to participate. Be it a toxic relationship with a friend, a toxic relationship with a spouse, or a toxic relationship with the de facto. So they, and whoever they may be, have the volume actually turned up to a deafening roar and the beat to an unknown all to no tempo and such most of us are actually dancing as fast as we can to the tempo that the de facto is playing. So the question is just how long can we survive the way that the de facto is running things? Just how long can we survive at this party of the de facto, the party of democracy. So an unaware person actually notices that the party goers are seemingly having a great time while knocking themselves out. And the DJ, the de facto, and the organizers are just going through the motions until it's all over. So then they pick up their stuff and then they go home. So, the party attendees stumble home and suffers handovers the next day while wondering what has happened. And as they've done so much in the past, they're reliable to do it again. So, they just don't do it anymore. You know, um, it was once said, one goes around till they drop out. So, a bit of metamorphical, perhaps analogous, you bet. Give it a thought or two and assign name players according to your experiences and see how it runs for you, folks. So, you know, um, 
the social security number, um, um, few people ask me about that, so the social security number you ask? Tata Dockwell, section 7 of public law 93579 provides that, you know, it shall be unlawful for any federal, state, or local government agency to deny any individual any right, benefit, or privilege provided by the law because such individual refusal to disclose his social security account number. Did you hear me? I'm going to say that again, and I'm going to say it slow, and you should be writing this down. In fact, I encourage you to watch this video at least four times. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, but I'd rather that you watch it ten times so it can be embedded into your, into your subconscious mind. Section 7 of Public Law 93579. Don't believe me. Go and check it out for yourselves, as I always tell you. So federal courts has actually ruled that the Privacy Act equally to the private sector. And discover there is no law requiring an individual to obtain or use a social security number. Do you hear me? I hope that you did. So a requirement and or a demand that you provide a social security number as a violation of one or more of the following laws, a statute. Now I want you to watch this video over and over until you get those, or at least get this, or at least write them down. 4 CFR 83.9. It's a violation. 5 U.S.C. Section 552A. 7 CFR 1-123.7. U.S.C. Section 2204G. 14 CFR 1212.604. 17 CFR 249.501 Alpha. 19 CFR 118.11, 19 CFR 122.25, 19 CFR 24.5, 24 CFR 5.212, it's a violation of that, 28 CFR 16.53, 28 CFR 15, 513, Point thirty one twenty eight CFR seven hundred twenty five twenty nine CFR seven alpha ten twenty nine CFR seventy one twelve thirty one CFR one point three two and thirty one CFR five oh one point eight oh six. It is a violation of those thirty two CFR. 270.19 and 32 CFR 310.20. It is a violation of it. 39 CFR 266.4, 45 CFR Part 801, 47 CFR 0 0.54, 49 CFR 10.29. Check the references for yourself. Now, I just gave you various statutes that they are violating if they demand or require that you give a social security number when you don't want to. So you're volunteering it. Do you understand? For educational purposes. And again, if you find this video to be of value, kindly click the PayPal link below the video and donate whatever value you find this video to be worth because you're not going to find this information in the public food system or abroad. You gotta dig for this. So, you know, I hereby end the series of videos um, about the UCC with the simple fact that the government is a corporation. I know you had heard it before. You cannot join unequal entities in law. So, thus, a artificial person, corporate entity, had to be created 
which is actually represented by your name in legal lease, straw man, as a transmitting utility. So there is no way around this, folks. Attorneys, judges, etc., they're sympathizers and only rule the system through force. Through force and fit. They can lock you up and they may choose to ignore the common law, but can they rebuke the facts? That's the question. That's the question. Can they rebuke the facts? So the more people that become educated, the more effective we, the people, become. See, there are those who will actually say that most everything contained in the videos that Ty the Doc put out and others like myself is not true. They say that the stuff that we put out as nationals um, is a lot of bull. So, brothers, sisters, throughout my life, I've seen almost bewildering array of defenders um, and the like who actually beat the drum of various causes for what reasons? Are they fearful that what they have may be taken away from them? Now, notice a U.S. senator, a U.S. senator, said that they, meaning Congress, had to be very careful about what rights they might take away from Americans. Now, I couldn't believe that I heard that, but he said it. Nevertheless, now, could this be the attitude today? The Constitution is very clear and right, and either it is actually the basis document from which all else actually flows, or isn't it? Now, I don't believe we can have it both ways. So, the people have the power. It is us who are we, the people. And of course, there are those who want us to think differently, and most of you do. So, there are those who want to believe that their drinking chlorinated um, fluoride water is fine for our health. So, before I, Todd the Doc, an agreed man, inquire um, into material related topics, you know, I spent many years looking at issues of health and well-being as they relate to, you know, what may have actually be termed um, the living soul or the human animal on this planet. And the proponents of this um, colonated and fluoride drinking water include public health officials and they will tell you that the product is safe and okay to use. But it's not. But it's not. And I say they do a great job generally delivering water that is clean and potable to force it in your home. And that is where their responsibility ends and yours begin. Do you understand? So why do they chlorinate water? It's a question. To kill living organisms? Well, that may be in the water. Well, I, Taza Doc and Agreed Man, knows of no mechanism in the body that actually deactivates the chlorine. So the chlorine is the same as in the bleach product that you use in your laundry. Do you understand? So generally, add ammonia to stabilize the chlorine and a couple of other chemicals as well. Now, how many of you knew this? So the fluoride added is a waste product of the aluminum industry. A lot of controversy over the years about fluoride. And what it comes down to is this, folks. It is a form of medication, or is it not? So those who think that it is a form of mandated medication and care not to participate, choose alternatives, sources, water. So those who choose to eliminate chlorine and fluoride from their life will tell you that they feel better after they've done it. And Tazak Doc and Agreed Man believe this to be true. So you may choose to continue drinking 
contaminated water, and so on and so forth. This could go on and on and on. So should you believe that there are no benefits in nutritional supplements, then go on about your way. No. And live as you continue living. Keep eating these foods that's being in in injected by, um, you know, these um, GMOs and so on and so forth. And, you know, you're going to um, end up with some type of serious condition. So, um, brothers and sisters, um, get your minds right. Get your minds right. And with that, I'm going to bring this one to a close. And again, if you like this video, take a minute to like this video, subscribe to the channel. And if you found this to be of value, please click the PayPal link below and donate whatever value that you found this video to be worth. And if you're interested in becoming a secured party creditor, you want to take yourself out of this system. You want to revoke their power of attorney from over you that your mother unintentionally gave them, you know, in the delivery, well, shortly after the delivery room, then click the email link below and get in contact with me. If you're having, um, if you're being bombarded by credit card companies or bill collectors, click the email link below and I'll be in touch and give you some guidance. Again, we did not offer legal advice. And with that, I'm going to say Shalom and Islam to you all. Peace and blessings to you all. Tadadak, signing out. Until next time.